Welcome to HYCM Insight with myself, Charles Copland. Now, the US retail sales data was a, a miss yesterday. However, the miss was within the consensus view, and the US dollar reaction has told us that hopes of a Fed taper are still on the cards. The dollar index made a one-way move to overhead resistance at the 93 handle, and US 10-year yields just moved modestly higher. So with a US interest rate rise potentially on the horizon, financials like JP Morgan could be set for gains, which typically do well in a positive interest rate environment. Over the last 15 years, JP Morgan has risen 73.33% of the time. Between August the 22nd and December the 31st, it's had an average return of 8.51%. And the largest gain was here in 2016 with a 33.53% gain. Largest loss in 2008 with a minus 16.30% loss. Major trade risks. Any very weak US economic data, like a weak September US jobs report, for instance, could result in slower US policy normalisation, and that would not typically benefit financials.